What up three times? You already know who it is. It's the one and only homie chef, aka Wings912 on IG. That's W-I-N-G-Z-Z912 on Instagram. Looking at me. It's Almighty Shiri View. Appreciate y'all tapping in, showing love and support. If this is your first time here, please get below and go ahead and hit that subscription button with the notification bell so you can stay in tune for when I drop content, shorts, or whatever. Shout out to the Breakfast Club, the homies, you know what I'm saying, local cook group that we we just in the shoes, man, whether it's for personal, resale, you know what I mean, helping each other out to make sure we get pairs, you know what I mean, this is something that we all do. And this particular shoe was actually an assist from my man Drew in the DMV, man, what up? Bro move, but you know, he's still one of us, man, so we keep tapped in with him, so shout out to Drew, man. Uh, this shoe here, very different can't lie i was on the fence about it but this colorway just got me and then not only that but the story behind the actual shoe is just amazing you know what i'm saying so i'm not even going to waste your time you know how we rock the first thing we do is start with the box wow here y'all see that and the colors read anthracite white anthracite and I present to you uh, the Nigel Sylvester Jordan 4 Grandma's Driveway, Driveway Gray. Yeah. Definitely one of them ones. And of course, And now that we got him in hand, let's get into him. Nigel Sylvester Air Jordan 4 RM SP Grandma's Driveway Driveway Gray delivers the BMX Stars remixed edition of the classic silhouette. Built with anthracite hued suede, the upper features a tonal TPU side panel with molded eyelets integrated into a lacing system. A crimson mini swoosh is embroidered on the lateral forefoot, while raised bike air branding decorates the back heel. The two tone polyurethane midsole lifted from the original Air Jordan 4. Packs a visible air sole unit in the heel for lightweight cushioning. All right, so before we get into the pros and cons, let's just talk a little bit about Nigel Sylvester. Uh, he is not a stranger to the Jordan brand or the collabs. This is not his first one. He has had Jordan 1s, he has had the Airship, and now we are at the low cut Jordan 4s. Uh, Nigel Sylvester is not even a professional BMX bike rider, but he's just very passionate about it. And he had a series called Go that he used to put out on YouTube and everything was just showed him riding, you know, just getting it in on his bike, just doing what he loves. And it blew up to the point where he's one of the most famous BMX bike riders that's out there right now. And like I said, he's not on a professional circuit, but he still gets backed by the big brands such as Nike, you know what I'm saying? And you know, it's just one of those things, man. But uh, I'm definitely in love with the story, you know, with the green ones. It came out with the grandma's driveway and that's where he got his start and learned to have his passion for bike riding, so on and so forth. And now the second colorway is the driveway gray. Now, let's talk about the pros and cons of this shoe because I wanna make a comparison, although I don't have the shoe in here, but I, I wanna make a comparison and I feel like this is the better execution. First thing I wanna talk about is the materials. The suede is amazing on this shoe. I love the feel of it. I love the touch of it. Uh, it it's, it's on point, you know what I'm saying? I can't say nothing about it. It moves to the swipe of my thumb, so it lets you know it's that good premium, which this particular shoe deserves. Uh, the fit of this shoe is true to size. I love the fit of it. 
it really feels like a low cut SB4. And I mean, I really feel that they got it on point with this, you know, it's different with the eyelids though. You see, you have this, this, pla this plastic piece that wraps around like the heel. I feel that's for support and that's really good. You know, gives tight, snug fit, you know, it's like not too crazy, but just keeps the shoe on your foot. But the padding around the ankle, collar, and the mid and the toe box is A1, man. You can't even knock it. You come down to the midsole, as you can see, you got that gray, white, and black. Very smooth color blocking, and I love the transition that it has right here from this, this anthracite gray, I guess that's what the material is called. They want to call it anthracite gray color, but it just works. It's very, very clean. I like the crimson embroidered Nike check on the, on the toe up here, on the toe cap. That's, a, that's pretty dope, too. You know, you got the mesh tongue and on the mesh tongue, it has bike air by Jordan. And of course we have the raised bike air that sits on the back and even have the mini tab, mini full tab back here. I think that was really cool. Then you got the red airbag. And then of course you got the classic black and white outsole. But yeah, man, this is just one of those ones, man. This one just hits really close to home. Just, you know, for somebody that got it out the mud, did it his way and he got rewarded in the best way possible. Now, comparison, this takes me back to a particular shoe about four years ago, which I think they're actually re-releasing next year and I pray they make an improvement. But yes, I'm talking about the Black Cat Jordan 4s, none other than the Black Jet Cat Jordan 4s. That shoe to me was terribly horrible and I've talked about it more than once already, but I'm definitely speaking on that, that new buck, that ashy new buck that was very cheap, very thin, very terrible. Uh, just just the shoe looked good on on paper it sounded good looked good the whole nine but execution when you got it in hand was terrible and it was one of those shoes that really shot through the roof i couldn't understand why i was really annoyed however i'm also one of those ones that profited when you sold it for 750 bucks i sold it a couple years ago you know this shoe puts me in that mind frame but this is i feel this is what they were going for you know but it was a gr GRs don't really get that much, that, that, that good of materials every now and then, you know what I'm saying? So hopefully in 2025, when Nike releases that Black Cat 4 again, let's pray that they make some upgrades like this, you know? Like I said, this is a collab, so of course it's going to get the best treatment possible, which I feel is just turning this into a SB low, a SB4 low, you know what I'm saying? Definitely a good idea, great execution. Nike, you got this off, so I hope that you do this with the black cat four give it the same material so it can have the same feel and i don't feel cheated and i just might cop it you know but everybody know got the jordan four ogs so ain't no need for that um yeah i i'm very happy about this shoe not for the sake of it being a collab but for the sake of the execution with nike nike just usually throws anything at a wall kind of trying to see if it'll stick but this one especially with the person that they were working with i'm glad they took their time to work this out you know now the ogs when it comes to the resale the green ones they're up these were up and now that nike went ahead and uh released some on the sneakers app i seen the numbers fall about 30 dollars. it's hovering about 270 on goat so that means after fees you might be paying between 3 to 325 and that's an understandable number. Retail for this shoe was $160, and that is not a bad price point. That's pretty amazing for it to be a collab in this nature. Um, I'm very surprised. And so I do see that resale going up as time goes on. There's nothing bad you can say really about this shoe, man. I mean, it's, it's very dope, you know what I'm saying? From the green to the driveway gray, Nigel Sylvester got him on with this one. I'm very much so a fan, and I've been trying to get a pair of the bike airs. I wanted the airships. Missed those terribly. Not even mad about it. But now I have a bike air in the collection. So shout out to Nike and Nigel, man. Y'all got one. But uh, I'm not even going to hold y'all too much longer. I'll give y'all one more closer look before we bring the chefs out. we hear the bike air all right now when it comes to the chefs this is definitely getting the ocho um love the colorway love the execution the color blocking materials so on and so forth 
this is a nice shoe, you know what I mean? Can't even front on it. Like he really got this one off and I'm glad they did take their time with this because any other time it just feels like Nike's throwing stuff at a wall just seeing what sticks. Um, it just all ties in between storyline, everything. It's just, this is just a really, really good shoe, man. This is in my top 10 sneakers of the year, but it's not in the top five. There's a couple other things that I like a little bit more. But we'll revisit that in a few months, you know what I mean? We'll get to the bottom of it and we'll see if this moves up or down, you know what I mean? You never know. So please, please, please get down below. Let me know that I get it right or get it wrong, you know what I'm saying? Oh, as always, I appreciate you guys tapping in, showing love. It's the end of 2024 and things are getting crazy as we get closer to, the to these elections, everything is being political. So all I say is, get low stay out the way stay focused get you some money you know what i mean best things and by all means last thing spread love and positive vibes amongst your family and friends all right oh yeah and by any means keep them sneakers clean we outside breakfast club is on the hunt we always taking shoes to go ahead and flip for grails you know what i mean so be aware man we'll see y'all peace Whoa.